Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to unbox and test out this power bank that I purchased online because I realized recently that I needed this for travel. I've started doing some traveling actually last June of this year in connection with promoting my novel. It's been out since April 25. It's available worldwide on Amazon as a paperback and as a Kindle book. The novel is called The Maps of Camarines and it's a penguin book published by Penguin Random House. I will leave a link down below. The power bank that I purchased is this 40,000 milliampere from the brand called Bavin. It is a decent and reasonably reliable brand that is available in a lot of physical and online stores here in my country and I think in other Southeast Asian countries. I will list this specific item in the description box. It comes with its own charging cable in the box. It's a USB-C. And here is the power bank itself. As you can see, it is massive. This has a total of five ports but only four can actually be used for power out. The fifth one is the micro USB and it can only be used for power in, although the USB-C port can also be used for power in and for power out, as you can see from the labels printed on here. I did have another 40,000 milliampere power bank, which I showed before in a video, but I have since given that to my son so he can power his MacBook Pro during power interruptions in our city because we get a lot of those. It is very annoying and inconvenient. And I like this design. It is very elegant and I like the white, but this also comes in a black version. Now this power bank has a power switch right here on the side and this black panel is actually a little screen that shows how much battery this has at any given moment. And on camera, it flickers, but when I look at it in person using my naked eyes, the light is steady and it says 90%. Now it is time to try out this power bank with my laptop. This is my 13-inch MacBook Pro M2 laptop, which I unboxed in a video, and I will link it down below. Right now, this laptop has 42% battery, and I'm just going to use the USB-C cable that came with the laptop. And as you can see, the battery icon now has a lightning on it, which means it is charging. I'm going to leave this plugged in while I try to charge other things with the new power bank. Here is the charger for my Apple Watch. This is no longer the original Apple one. This is a third party one that works just fine. And when I place the Apple Watch on it, it does charge. Next, I'm going to charge my Kindle, which is completely drained already, as you can see. And the orange light at the bottom lights up which means the kindle is charging finally i'm going to charge my guja dock pencil which i use with good notes i don't use paper planners anymore just digital and i really like it i do have a video about that which i will link down below and the pencil is charging as evidenced by the red light which i hope you can see so it does look like the power bank can charge all four devices at the same time without any problems. So it's now time to unplug everything and also to check the laptop, which is now at 44%. So definitely this power bank is working as it should. Now it is time to test out whether it has no problems accepting power. So I'm going to use once again my MacBook Pro USB-C cable and plug that into my power brick for the MacBook Pro because that is really a fast charger. And once again the charge indicator lights flicker on camera but to my naked eye, the 9 is steady, but the 0 is blinking. So that means the power bank is charging. The next thing I want to test is if the power bank can charge one device while it is also being charged from an external power source. So while the power bank is charging, I will plug in my Kindle. And it looks like both are charging steadily. This is called pass-through charging. The power bank is even at 91% by now. 
so it's okay now i'm going to leave them like that for the moment while i unbox this next item this is just something that I threw in together with the Power Mac because it was on promo as a bundle. And the listing said that this was the best combination to use to charge the power bank. But I wasn't paying attention to the specifics or the specs. And it is only now that I see that the charger is 20 watts and the cable is 60 watts. If used together, it's not going to be 60 watts. It is going to be only 20 watts. That's okay, I guess, if the manufacturer says it's okay to use all three together, then it's okay to use all three together. The cable came with its own little Velcro strip that you can loop through the cable to hold it in place even if the Velcro is undone. And when I was unboxing the power brick, I forgot to press play. <laughs> but here is the power brick that came from this box. When I plugged the USB-C cable into this power brick and plugged the power brick into an external power source, the power bank really does charge, as you can see. The 9 is steady, but the 3 is blinking. And when I plug in the Kindle, the power bank continues to charge while it is also charging the Kindle. So I can say for now that everything I received is working as they should here's a caveat though i don't think you can bring a power bank this large on a flight but for bus rides like 10 hour bus rides this is all right i will use this to power my devices of course including the laptop while mobile and also to power my electric blanket which i have unboxed in a video which i will link down below and that is my video for you today thanks for watching bye